Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to do uh, an update on the last uh, panel video that I did. I talked a little bit about the agenda of feminism moving throughout the Star Wars movies, the, the new movies and the new shows and, and basically what is now Disney Star Wars. And I stumbled upon a... Uh, actually, my friend Matt, Matt Pop, he sent me a link to this article that kind of... Uh, solidified my point of view and I've gotten kind of gotten a lot of um, flack from people that just kind of dismiss they're dismissive about it they're just like it's not feminism you know it's it they, they don't really like um, they don't really see the um, they think it's it's okay it's normal and like I want to reiterate again I'm a fan of the female characters I think it is it, it is a good thing um, I think it should be normalized that you have female protagonists. I, th I think that's good. My gripe is that I feel like it's becoming... Like, they're trying to push too hard for it, and it's becoming a... Um, it's almost like they have an agenda with it to just try to force female characters, uh, female lead characters, onto these movies in order to get their own agenda across. And that's what kind of... Um, uh, it just doesn't sit well with me because it's it's kind of like one person imposing their own views, trying to subtly infiltrate the minds of others and impose their own views on everyone else. It's a trivial thing. It's not like a huge deal deal breaker for me. I'm still gonna love Star Wars, but um, it, it is an observation that I made, and it is a very real thing. I'm gonna put a link in the description below of that article so you guys can read it for yourselves but I just wanted to read a little bit of what I read from that article and kinda of make a few points off of it um, she goes to say I wouldn't sit here and say you must go into film and study only film and go to or, and go to film school the most important thing is to have a point of view and something to say so clearly she sees Star Wars as and as a means of getting her point of view um, across as what what she wants to say with these movies it, it goes beyond what the actual plot of the movie is there's underlying um, uh, underlying I guess themes that if you're not uh, I guess to the casual viewer they're, they're not really gonna pay attention to it but I notice these things. I'm, I'm an observant person. And so um, she goes to stay. She starts off with a quote from Yoda. Do or do not, there is no try. That is the goal of gender equality, she says. There is no try, there is only do. Right now, only women make up less than half a quarter of all positions in the film industry and less than a third of all speaking roles. The media tends to focus on the disparity of directors and actors. But I'd like to see more discussion around all the positions across the industry without a more balanced workforce. Isolated progress will continue to remain an anomaly, anomaly and not the seismic shift that is needed. So she's thinking whether she her facts are correct or not. I mean, that's disputable. But the fact of the matter is that, like she said in her, her very last ses sentence, she's looking for a seismic shift in that sort of thing and in I guess she wants to see like a lot more female leads which okay that's fine but are you doing it just for the sake of having female leads or are you doing it because it fits the character because it fits the scenario because it fits the story that's that's the main thing that that I want to make sure it's not something that's pushed so hard that they try to make force a female character to um, you know to be someone just because um, they need a female character to fit into the story even though maybe a male character would fit better um, I think that there are I heard this quote about feminism and I just want to say this I think that there are things that women can do that men can't do. There's a lot of qualities that I believe um, women possess that a man simply doesn't have, um, but they're unique to the to the to their gender. It's you, these qualities are unique to women, 
men can't ever be those things because we, we're just not naturally that way. Now, I think the same thing can be said for men. Uh, men have a certain ways um, and certain tendencies and, and certain attributes that maybe women uh, can try to replicate, right? But it's not necessarily at the core of their being who they really are. And that's why I just don't want it to be a forced thing. I want the characters to flow and to have the proper... Now, this is Star Wars, so, I mean, literally, anything can happen, but I just I just don't like this agenda that's subtly being shoved down our throats um, for, for because the, you know, the president of, of the company wants to push this agenda on us, you know, simply for the fact of, of getting her point across, regardless of how that affects the story, you know, and that's the only thing that uh, kind of concerns me about it. Um, and then I'm going to read a little bit more here. Um, she said, there are literally hundred, hundreds of people working in areas throughout production, marketing, visual effects, and post-production, and still the majority of those jobs are held by men. These are all jobs that women can do. They just need to be given the chance. That means that unions, studios, producers, directors, and other women in positions of power and responsibility need to make the effort. So do or do not, there is no try. And here's the part that kind of like bugs me a little bit. She says, the force is female. She ends with that. I'm like, really? Like, the force is the force. Don't give me this, the force is female thing. The force isn't male either. The force is just the force. Don't try to put a gender on the force. Like, and then she's wearing a shirt that literally says the force is female. Like, it's just, it just, it's just too much. And it's just pushing an agenda too much. And I don't know, honestly, it makes me uncomfortable. I know that there's a lot of people out there that they, it really doesn't bother them. Um, I, feminism, in a sense, doesn't really bother me. Um, <clears throat> it's more the principle of pushing an agenda, like pushing a point of view across um, just uh, like dogmatically just to, just to kind of, um, I guess, bring about some kind of reform through entertainment. I feel like entertainment should be free from that. And like I said in my last video, I don't mind feminism. I just think that feminism ha has become about, uh, being superior, not about being equal. It's not about equality anymore. And that's the only thing that, that just kind of sets me off about it. Um, I, like I said, I think that every gender has their own attributes that are um, indispensable. You know, you can't, you can't really um, compare the two in a sense. I feel like every gender has unique things that they bring to the table. And I don't know, this whole thing with uh, Star Wars, the direction that Star Wars is going, I just don't, it's a little bit unsettling. I just don't want it to tip completely tip over and become a feminist movement that's the only that's that's my main concern that's the thing that i'm worried about i just don't want star wars to be a feminist movement i i want it to be star wars i want it to be the star wars that i've always grown up and known and loved and um i'm down for female characters i really am i just don't want them to overdo it and and try to like force something that's not there anyway guys let me know what you think um I guess leave comments, uh, questions, whatever. Like I said, I'm going to leave the link to this article down below so you guys can read it and kind of judge for yourselves. Um, this is just my take on it. You know, I respect everyone's opinion on it and I, I sure would love to hear what you guys have to say, but, um, yeah, y'all have a good day.